What's back here, Anna? What is it? What'd you guys find? What do you got, Didge? What do you got? What is it? What is it? Huh? I have no idea what's happening. All I know is there's something exciting going on around this conveyor. Which means there's a critter hiding underneath it. Where'd it go? Look at that, even the cat came to see what was up. She's the smart one, she'll probably get it. Cat, come here. None of you cats let me pet you, come here. No? The cats only trust the girls. They don't let me touch them. Maybe they're a lot smarter animals than anyone gives them credit for. Well, today we're doing our first pre-harvest thing. I'm actually gonna get the combine in here, the 780, and the boys from Crary Egg right up the road in Fargo, North Dakota are coming out. We're gonna put some hopper extensions on it so we can fit a little more corn in there, which uh, I guess we'll use even though we really probably don't have much corn in the field because we have still, we are still sitting at a total of 1.6 entire inches of rain since we planted our corn. So I'm gonna play a little bit of John Deere Shuffle this morning, but the first thing I gotta get out of here is the modified. If you guys are interested in, in this car and how we did this weekend and why the front end is all tore up on it, you can check that video out on Between the Rows, which is linked down below. And uh, yeah, that's our second channel. We've been, been going pretty good on doing some of the racing content. Unfortunately, I wrecked stuff this weekend. Onyx took his go-kart out and, and won stuff. So I think we're, we're gonna have to consider putting the kid in the car. Item number two, the 9570R. I'm looking forward to running this thing this fall. We uh, haven't done a whole lot with articulate tractors for a few years. And I didn't get to run it a lot this spring, so we'll see what it ends up on this year. I'm thinking probably it'll, uh, it'll end up on the ripper because we're going to put the strip tiller on the RT. This thing makes that four-wheeler look like a toy. Like I could easily just run into it and end up on top of it. Reminds me of a date I had in college. Maybe we'll put it on the Mendeco Storm. If it stays this dry, I'm guessing we're gonna be running that thing a lot. Did you get it, Didge? Huh, did you figure it out? No? Item number one started, but the real question is gonna be the other three big ticket items that I gotta get out of here. Which one or how many will have dead batteries? Probably been sitting here for three weeks, so take bets now. Put them down there and let me know if you think this thing is gonna start. And then let me know if you, if you won the bet or not. There's really nothing to win, but it's, just do it. Ooh, that's a good sign. Look at that. These things all need a bath, like badly. Two items left. Place your bets now. I know for sure that that buggy would fire right up. No problem. Uh-oh. We had this issue once before. We had to update the software in order for the transmission to work. I'll just try unplugging it and plugging it back in. Debooting. 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 When I was a kid, and we would play NASCAR on, I don't know if it was PlayStation or what that was, you'd have to wait for the video game to load, and it was annoying because I was a kid, and 20 seconds for that thing to load always sucked, but now that's kind of like I'm an adult and I gotta wait for my tractors to load before I can move them. It's telling me that it's busy calibrating the transmission, so, I'm gonna let it calibrate and see if the 780 will fire up. Nice. There we go. High tech stuff. I just need to remember how to open the hoppers. 
Well, it looks like it's not too difficult. Open says me. Fully opened. Excellent. <laughs> Before we get to this, I gotta go grab Becky. We've actually gotta run to town and sign some papers on a small piece of land that we're buying. I'm pretty excited. This is our personal second piece of land. We've got, uh, uh, we've got a, just about a quarter of land east of here a mile, and now we're buying a, a smaller 48 tillable acre chunk of land just west, west of us that we've farmed for, oh, dad's rented it for, I don't know, 35 years probably. And the owners decided they wanted to sell it. They contacted us and we're gonna get it done. Todd, now we owe more money. Great. Just great. What are you doing here, Rhiannon? Uh, and Isla? This, this is their fort, my kitties. It's a fort, show us the kitties. Oh Kit geez, how many you got in here? I only have two, Isla's got one. Do they have so, names yet? This one might be Luna or Tux, but we're pretty sure it's a girl and we already have a Luna. So we don't know when we're going to meet. Okay. This one right here is Munchkin. Okay. That one's Turtle. You have Turtle over there? Turtle is my cat. The folks from Crary are here now. I got lunch in me. The kittens are good. We got the land deal done. It's time to put some extensions on the S780 so we can load it full of good corn this fall. There's the Crary Big Top. So that's everything right there in the one box. Instructions, hardware, all your pieces. You want me to memorize the instructions quick? Yeah, here you go. Here, oh, it comes, um, it comes need... with all the hardware, so I can't even just throw it off the side <laughs> no, of the camera. We, we need a couple of dimensions from in there. <laughs> so you can't just get rid of it. I thought I ordered them in red. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hell no. Green. We'll take what we can get. Yep, it, it goes almost vertical with the panel. See right there? May I? You may. <laughs> I just got this thing. I almost got you. Yeah. In tech school, the instructor, we, we had all the drills then that were corded, right? Yeah. He called them automatic shut off because you get to the end of the hole and the bit would catch, oh spin the drill around, break your wrist, and pull the cord out of the wall and they'd shut off. That's one way to do it. That looks comfortable. Isn't it? Very you didn't want to just climb onto the outside and hang by one arm? I don't think so. You don't want to come in here and help us out? Yeah. That sounds fun. It's, it's not all that fun, actually. But we're getting it. August 9th. That's a you ready? Start. To climb in here and finish things up. Yeah. Just put in these last few shims. I think you got it. So it's fully installed. Fully installed. How much adjustment should there be? Hopefully none. Hopefully none. Fire it up and try it? Sure. Fire it up and try it. You can do that. Okay. Are you concerned that anything's gonna like rip out or tear off or no. make funny noises? Not no at all. Concerns. Okay. You want to turn the key? Okay, there it is. It's going to turn one click. What way? Forward. Like that way. Yep. And then roll it and hold it. Close it up one last time, and I think we're good. We did it. We did it. 
That's all done. Good to go. The last thing I got here now is I got to get Rhiannon to, I don't know if it's gymnastics or cheerleading, one of the two. All I know is I got 20 minutes to get her there and I got to drop off a check here. If you guys saw a couple, two, three, four, I don't know how many videos ago we had a sponsor come on and anyway, it said something about donating to a local FFA chapter. That's what this is. That's what we're doing. We're actually uh, making a considerable donation to a local FFA chapter here for a greenhouse project that they're doing. And uh, we're pretty excited about it. This is going to help them out. They got a really, really cool project going on with that greenhouse over there. So they've been able to bring a lot of dollars in. Uh, I would encourage you guys out there to make sure you donate to your local communities as well. And especially to the stuff that keeps the kids interested within agriculture. I think uh, we need that. Small town America needs that, right? We got to got to support each other out here. So that's what I'm going to go do. And then I'm going to come home and I'm going to throw some bison dogs from Dakota Beer, Dakota Pier Bison on the grill. Okay, you guys have a good uh, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is when you're watching this. Okay, thanks. Keep it between the rows. <laughs>